how are you guys doing today? I'm Johnny from Man Behind the Lens on Instagram, and I'm here at the San Diego National Wildlife Refuge. This is a location that I come to quite often that they basically help protect a lot of nature out here, both wildlife and plant. So um, today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about landscape photography and how to use your camera a little bit better. I'm going to give you five tips to help sharpen your image and to help get you out there to really pursue the love of being outdoors. So I hope you guys all stay tuned and make sure you enjoy. So one of the first things we're gonna talk about is camera gear. You're gonna need yourself a camera, a good wide angle lens, and a nice sturdy tripod. These are gonna be some of the main essentials that you will need for landscape photography. Now just keep in mind, whatever the gear you have is the gear you're gonna use though. So just go out there and have fun. That's the main premise of this video. So one of the first things we're gonna talk about is scouting a location. That's gonna be your first tip for today. And in order to scout your location, you need to make sure you get out there, kind of whether it be early morning hours, midday, or into day, into night. You wanna kind of see which one's gonna actually fit your needs for the shot that you're trying to get. But like I said, scouting a, scouting a spot could be one of your biggest things you can do. So for tip two, we're gonna talk about shooting on manual. It's gonna be both manual on your camera and also manual focus. It's where you're gonna be able to control all of your photo and you're gonna be able to pull out the, the best lighting, the best colors, um, changing your white balances and everything as it is tough when you're first beginning photography to learn how to shoot manual and you will make a lot of mistakes it is ideally the best thing you can do is to take control of what your camera can do because your camera's auto does not know as much as you will and it, it's one of those things that once you learn how to shoot on manual focus and actually take full control over your images you will start getting some of the sharpest and most clearest images that you possibly can. So and the next tip that I want to teach you guys is about using your cell phone for your composition to find your composition instead of waiting your sh or using up your shutter count and all those different things and wasting your battery on your camera. Take your cell phone and try and find your composition. Take some sample photos here or there. And you'd be surprised on how good your cell phone can do to find your composition and find the colors. Um, I, I, I highly recommend that, especially when you're just beginning. Like I said, you save on your camera and you also save a lot of time just walking around with your cell phone, turning it on live view and actually just following it around and looking for your best composition. It's a lot of people don't do that. And I, it's one of those things that I really urge people to try and learn how to do. It, it's done me wonders and um, like I said it's just one of the best options especially when you're first beginning to learn how to do this save on your camera gear because camera gear is very expensive so for tip four I'm going to teach you about leading lines a leading line is a line that goes all the way to the subject that you're trying to photograph it's going to help dr like dramatically increase your image for um, people's eyes attention span to actually focus on your image more. It will draw people in to actually want to see your image. Now basically a leading line once again is just some type of trail like for example behind me the trail that's leading to the San Miguel mountain. It's basically a leading line into the subject that's going to help draw your eyes into the mountain itself. So another thing I want to talk about for the fifth and final tip is long exposures. An ND filter, this is a Gobi 10 stop ND filter and it's a 77 millimeter thread to fit on my 77 millimeter thread camera, like on the lens. Um, and basically a long exposure is going to, this is going to darken up your camera to where you can run a longer exposure time. Anywhere from like 2 seconds to 30 seconds depending on your f-stop. Um, this is really good to draw out the clouds that are above the mountain right now. So I will have a little image in there to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So 
So these are the five tips that you know I'm giving you guys to help hopefully strengthen your photography. Um, once again, I really do thank you guys for all the support that you show me. Yes, it is a new YouTube channel. Things will get better over these time, you know, after each video. Um, so I ask you to bear with me. But in the meantime, I do appreciate all the support that you guys have shown me. Um, you can find more of my like work on Instagram under Man Behind the Lens. And like I said, if you have any questions at all, please leave it in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I ask you guys one of the biggest things out there. And just go out and shoot. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Submerge yourself in nature. This is the reasoning why I do these videos. And this is the reason why I do photography. It isn't so much to post, but just to get out in nature. And just respect yourself out there. Never compare your work to anyone else's. Just continue to work on you and bettering your images. Once again, if you guys have any video ideals or you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Or you can DM me directly on Instagram. Um, thank you again. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.